Welcome back to the news tonight. Well, the brutal reality of the Bareilly train incident is haunting the entire country. The public pr criticism may have prompted a change that reflected this evening. The woman athlete who lost her leg will now receive an additional two lakhs from the government after being offered 25,000 earlier and now a job with the railways as well. This ends Arunima Sinha's dream of playing for the country. The 23-year-old state-level volleyball player lost her leg in a horrific attack early Wednesday morning. She was on a train to Noida to apply for a CISF job. At 2 a.m., three men cornered her in the packed general compartment and tried to snatch her chain. She resisted, but no one came to her rescue, and the men pushed her off the train. By that time, she had bled profusely, lucky to have survived, and the attackers untraceable. This was a very serious condition. It was in the shop. It was cut off. And it was cut off. 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 This horrific attack comes less than two months after national Kabaddi player 21-year-old Manisha Rana was shot at point-blank range in Patna. Her killer, a drunken CRPF Jawan who felt snubbed because she had refused to give her phone number. The same week, 23-year-old Soumya was pushed out of a moving train, raped and left to die, all because she had resisted a robbery attack. These are women of the same small town India, trying to fight the same odds of poverty and self-assertion. But their dreams continue to die young. With Randeep Singh in Bareilly and Anant Zanane, Madhusudan for NDTV. Well, the government's initial response left both the athlete and the country winded. Sports Minister Ajay Makin offered Rs 25,000 as compensation. The Railways Ministry offered to cover her medical expense. And now, after much public outcry, the compensation has been upped. फुटबॉल में हमने कल रेलवे मिनिस्ट्री को भी हमने चिट्ठी लिखी है कि इस प्रकार की घटना नहीं होनी चाहिए और साथ में हमने एक्स ग्रीसिया के रूप में एकदम से शुरू में हमने 25,000 दिया है जरूरत पड़ेगी हम और भी पैसा इनके इसको खिलाड़ी के लिए हम लोग देंगे और ये सबसे पहले हम लोगों ने हमारे साई के जो अथॉरिटीज हैं इनको हमने कहा कि आप वहाँ पर जाइए देख कर के आइए और 25,000 रुपए आज शाम तक के हम उसको किराड़ी को देंगे जरूरत पड़ेगी हम और पैसा भी देंगे और साथ साथ में मैं ग्रह मंत्री को भी मैं लिख रहा हूँ कि वो सीआईएसएफ की भर्ती के लिए वो जा रही थी जिस वक्त उसका हादसा हुआ है तो अब वो बेचारी खिलाड़ी नहीं है लेकिन उसको इस चीज जो घटना उसके साथ में हुई है उसको ध्यान में रख करके उसको नौकरी वहाँ पर दी जाए रेलवे को भी कंपनसेशन देना चाहिए और रेलवे को मैंने जांच के लिए भी मैंने कहा Moving on, Narendra Modi has criticized the Prime Minister for not casting his vote during the Assam polls. The Congress now has shot back saying that the Prime Minister is a very busy man. I am going to know that the Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh, who has given Ambedkar Ji to Samidhan, Ambedkar Ji वोट का अधिकार दिया लेकिन डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह जी ने आसाम में जाकर के जहां के वो मतदाता है आसाम के महत्वपूर्ण चुनाव में मतदान नहीं किया देश के नागरिकों के लिए ये खबर अपने आप में दुख पहुंचाने वाली है और 14 अप्रैल अम्बेडकर जयंती के दिन वो विशेष रूप से दुखदायक लगती है very much of intelligence to understand that a country that a prime minister of the size of the of the country that india is obviously has legitimate preoccupations so i don't think it uh, really serves the bharatiya janata party or the chief minister of gujarat to really be raising issues which are completely devoid of substance. Moving on, the Agriculture Minister Sharad Babar is at the centre of a fresh controversy centering around corporate lobbies near Aradia's statement to the CBI that he may be controlling DB Realty, which is one of the companies named in the Spectrum scam. 
The BJP has also been targeting Pawar, alleging that he has close links with Shahid Balwa, who is the chief of DB Realty, to the extent of taking rides on his private plane. Mr. Pawar spoke to NDTV and denied these reports. He says he knows Vinod Goenka's family personally, but does not have any business association with them or DB Realty. टेलीकॉम लाइसेंस देने के लिए मुझे किसी ने ही कांटेक्ट नहीं किया कि आप हमारे लिए करो या मैंने किसी को सिफारिश की मैंने किसी की रिकमेंडेशन और इसके दूसरी बात यह है कि टेलीकॉम लाइसेंस देने के प्रोसेस में मेरा रोल और कोई अधिकार मेरा बिल्कुल नहीं है मैं एग्रीकल्चर का काम देश का देखता हूँ खेती का काम देखता हूँ इसलिए ये मेरा क्षेत्र नहीं इसलिए ये बात सरासर झूठ है Moving on, the top officers from the CBI are in Santiago to make sure whether the person in custody of the Chilean police is Abdul Rauf. He is the man wanted in the IC814 hijacking case. The CBI team is meeting the Chilean prosecutor today. Rauf was arrested for a fake uh, visa case in January during investigations. The Chilean police found that there was an Interpol notice against a person of the same name who was involved in the hijacking of Indian Airlines' IC814 in 1999 in Kandahar. Rauf is reportedly the brother-in-law of Jaish-e Mohammed leader Masood Azhar, the terrorist who was released by the NDA government as part of the deal struck with the hijackers. And India has sent a team to Chile to verify whether uh, a man arrested there is the man India wants. Abdul Rauf, a key conspirator of the hijacking, Foreign Minister S. M. Krishna says the intelligence agencies would assess whether it's the same person. Well, our intelligence uh, agencies have uh, deputed their representatives uh, to go to uh, that country and then to make an assessment whether it is the same person who is responsible for that uh, hijacking uh, and uh, well if it is so then you know necessary follow-up action uh, will be initiated moving on with the census report recently being released which highlighted india's skewed sex ratio amongst children there was one man who had quite a bit to say about it Farooq Abdullah stated that if this continued, then the future men apparently might just have to turn gay. And the truth is, the population is growing at a much faster rate. Unfortunately, the men, boys, male sex is growing faster and women are being eliminated. I don't know whether a time will come, we'll all become gays. That might happen when we will not find girls to marry. Coming up on the news tonight, for the first time in Indian cinema, a sports icon will be profiled in a movie and Flying Sikh sets the benchmark.